Imagine a single place in space, one spot where American feminism began, one house where was born the separation of church and state, one of the key principles of American society, one building where met some of America's most important writers to exchange ideas and germinate the seeds of American scholarship. What would you do with this building? Three School Street, Boston, Massachusetts, was the home of Anne Marbury Hutchinson, a colonial American woman, community leader, and the first voice of American political dissent. The records of her 1637 trial for religious dissent, which revealed the extent of theocratic state power, are more amazing than any work of fiction. Three School Street was where Anne Marbury Hutchinson prepared the defense for her trial, during which she showed that women can argue as cogently as men, and was banished from the Massachusetts Bay Colony as a result. This one woman gave birth to American feminism, the concept of religious freedom, the state of Rhode Island, and 15 children. Three School Street was also the address of Ticknor and Fields Publishers, the first American publishers of Charles Dickens, and hosts to homegrown talent such as Nathaniel Hawthorne, Henry Thoreau, Oliver Wendell Holmes, and Mark Twain. This site could be one of the most important stops on Boston's Freedom Trail. It deserves to be more than a taco shop. It deserves to be a living, working museum where visitors can peruse volumes of Walden, Life in the Woods, or The Scarlet Letter, or watch reenactments of the Hutchinson trial. It deserves to be restored to its 19th century splendor and become a fitting tribute to Anne Marbury Hutchinson and those other great Americans who trod this very ground. Come on, America. We deserve the Hutchinson House. Let's make it a reality.